we're here at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome as it's about to play host for this matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints. We were at practice this week with both teams and just watching them, you could tell they're going to lean on the ground game a little bit more maybe than most people expect, which is going to surprise some folks. Yeah, I think it's going to surprise a lot of people. It's going to surprise the, the opposite defense, there's no doubt. Might even surprise some of the people in the stands who want to come here and see these star quarterbacks. Well, it's going to be about these running backs today. Let's see who can win the battle. backfield first and ten the defense gets a sack good job with the safety getting that sack I, I, I'll say this he can tackle he can cover and he showed us he can get to the quarterback he's looking long but it's incomplete when it's third long on the offensive side you have very few choices on how to pick up a first down Call one of them and see if you get lucky and see if it works. The Saints with two extra defensive backs in the dime. And he was wide open. That's a terrible job out the defense in the gym. I mean, you, you got third and over 10 yards. You don't get a pass rush, you don't cover them down the field, and you give up the first down. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Here's the handoff to Doug Martin, trying to find an open to the right. The defense stands up early and stops the run cold. Good job that time you said it, Jim, by the defense. They attacked the offensive line, and there was nowhere for the running back to run the football. Second down and eight. Screen. The pass complete. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. You got to be smart on the defensive side now here, third and long. Be a little careful. Maybe give up a short pass or a short run. And if they throw it short, make sure you come up and make the tackle. Third and 11. To Williams. Complete. Nice tackle. The rhythm, you hear it so often in sports, and it is true, especially on the offensive side. That's another first down by the offense. They got some rhythm, and these kind of these kind of drives usually lead to scores. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. He wants to go deep. But it falls incomplete. Anytime you get a chance as a defender in your own end zone to knock it down, that's what you do. Nice play by the defensive guy. Heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Ball is caught. In the end, it picks up only a yard. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. <laughs> Offense lines up here. Third down and nine. They're going to get him here for a sack. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield, punt the football. Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? Midway through the first. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. It's been a beautiful drive so far by this offense, Jim. They started in bad field position. 
Now they're inside the 20. Let's see if they can get it done from here. That is play number 10 on this drive. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Going to lose yards here. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Play after play after play here on this drive. Second down and 12. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Six in the books. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Drew Brees has it under center. First and 10. Quarterback drops back, play action. He's looking to the right here on this throw. This defense can pressure the quarterback. There's no doubt about it. They did this time, and it results in another incompletion. Colston's lined up in the slot. Second and ten. Getting sacked. When you talk about a blitz on the defensive side, it's all about timing. Disguise it to the last second and time up the snap of the football. They did it that time, and they get the sack on the QB. Looking to the right side and throwing. Brees and Colston, a famous combination for years. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. defense comes out in the nickel and out of the shotgun the Saints get a first down and now will be on the other side of the 50 after this play so it's always about risk and reward it is a risk to go for it on fourth down when you pick it up you feel like a genius don't you that long gain sets them up here on this play running to his right stiff arm Good job by the running back on that long run. It's one thing to have talent, but the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. That's what he did that time, able to get down the field and get that long game. First down here after the run. And Ingram is going to secure the handoff. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down the Saints all bunched up here as they get set at the line just had to avoid the sack into place the defense has really done a good job here in this drive they got this offense in a third and long situation let's see if they can convert it Sproles is out in the slot he had no time to get set. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Moore's in the slot. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. The Saints now move the chain all the way home and all alone. Touchdown. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. Saints 
ready here for the kickoff. It's out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Martins lined up in a single back formation. First and ten. And he's intercepted. They counts on him there. That was an awesome job by the defense. He just read the quarterback side. They got in position and they made the interception. First down, Ready. offense Ready. readying for the snap. Jimmy Graham with the grab. 25 on that play. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, he gets a first down. Here's the first snap after the big play. Back to the air here on first down. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That's a good job by the quarterback recognizing it's man-to-man -man defense. And when you see that, just watch the receiver lead him to the open space. Nice completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Second down after the incompletion. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Could have been intercepted. Nice job that time by the defense. Pressure on the quarterback. He does not have time to find an open guy, and it results in an incompletion. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Saints team official. Jimmy Graham's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. Third and goal from the seventh. Under fire on that throw. A short field goal try on the way. The kick is good. There's nothing like being ahead in the football game, no matter how many points it is, because now you can manage it in a different way, even though it's early in this game, and you make the other team come after you. the 20 and brought down at the 24. Three, three. This offense lines up here. First and 10. Balls picked off. What a terrible job by the quarterback. Nobody's open, tries to force the pass, and look, lets it turn into an interception. Moore's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Incompletion on that hurry throw. Thomas lined up in the backfield. Dropping back three. 
That's not good timing between the receiver and the quarterback. The quarterback that time throws it too quick and too far in front to the wide receiver on the slant route. Thomas is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Third and ten. Throwing now to his left. The Saints get a first down. Touchdown, Saints. What a good job by the wide receiver. Just going up and attacking the football. And you know why they can attack those footballs? Because they know they can't be hit. They're defenseless, so they get a reaching. The PAT sails wide here. Saints ready here for the kickoff. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Martin's lined up as the single back. Over to right. That's an interception. He stacked up at that point. When you get an opportunity like this, you want to take advantage of it. The defense did. The opportunity was there. They get a chance to intercept the football. They do. Now can their offense take advantage of this situation? Wide receivers are bunched up. They'll run it with Mark Ingram. That'll stop the play right there. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. They deck him in the backfield. Well, that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. And listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. It takes really good corners to play a defense where you challenge the wide receivers and just play them man-to-man -man coverage. I don't think this defense has that kind of quality corners. Out of the gun, throws to the right. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. That's why you like defenders who are good, punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. Coming up, Breeze is going to take it from the shotgun. Count it. Touchdown. There is no lead in the NFL. It's safe. We all know that. We have seen tremendous comebacks. So when you get the opportunity, lay it on them, man. Keep scoring. The Saints with the PAT to come. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Ready to swing his leg as aggressively as possible and send the football down to the end zone. Bins out of the tackle. Corners formation here for the defense. Martin's taking the handoff down to the 34. When you're going against a really athletic defense, there's nothing like reverses and the counter run game because they see it, they go, and you counter it, and that's why it works to perfection. Now, looking at third down. Go, 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 go. 
out of the shotgun formation. Looking across the middle. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Let's just tell it like it is, Jim Nance. His receiver's not a very tough guy because he gets hit. It should have been a complete pass, but he gets hit. He just throws that football on the ground, and the pass is incomplete. The Buccaneers in the pistol. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Will run it. Here's the handoff. And it's Curtis Lofton who makes the play. Bad play call that time by the defensive coordinator. It's fourth and short. There's only a couple plays you know the offense is going to run. They were not ready, and they give up a big first down. First down and 10. Back to the ground, running to the right. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Martins lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. They run right. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, it's about deceiving the defense, isn't it? That's how you get a lot done in the NFL. And when you can run and pass, you can deceive them in a lot of ways. Nice job by the offense running that football, picking up another first down and moving the chains. Nice job that time by the wide receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback throws it too far and misses it. Well, Coach Greg Schiano on that sideline for Tampa. He's a coach you're familiar with three, back from his college three. days. You spent a lot of time around him when he was at Rutgers. Shoot. And Greg Schiano was running around in the neighborhood when I was playing for the Giants, and he was just a little high school kid at the time. So, wow, what a career he has had just moving his way up through the ranks. Uh, I think what you saw last year from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is Greg Schiano, a person who never gives up. He's tough and just wants to out-hustle the team he's playing. Seemed like, too, that the, the Buccaneers really respond to their head coach. Yeah, they did. You know, a lot of times the team is going to take on the personality of their head coach, and, and the Buccaneers definitely did. Now, a little more talent, a second year with the same system and the same head coach. We'll see where it takes them. This play set up by the long gainer. There is a flag. And he's almost intercepted. Offside defense. Whoop, looks like the defender was caught in the neutral zone, Phil. Yeah, he was. Good job by the quarterback. You know, he made that little voice inflection. That'll get him every time. Quarterback's a little sneaky, you know. Able to move the chains after that penalty. Looks to his left. Ball's going to be incomplete. A hit knocked the ball out. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Please, please. The long please, drive please. continues. Let's go. Second and five. And we've reached the two-minute warning. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? What a drive this has been. Doug Martin carries the football. Some good play calls so far in this drive by the offensive coordinator. His team is down, but they are marching down the field. Marching down the field and taking their time. Second and goal from the five. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Uh, take no chances when the football is thrown in the end zone. Don't go for an interception sometimes. You can kick the ball up in the air. Hey, don't do that. Knock it down. Three, 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 three. 
mounting a serious drive. Third and goal from the five. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Good job that time by the defense. They stopped them short on third and goal. What will the offense do? I'm sure the defense is hoping they go for it. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The wide receiver in motion. Fourth and goal from here. Doug Martin, he's going to the left. And that'll close the gap. That time on fourth and goal, the offense goes for it. The defense is all excited. They want to try to stop them and they make bad mistakes and give up the touchdown. The Buccaneers getting set for the extra point. Oh, it's a fake. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. Buccaneers ready to boot things underway. There's a flag right there. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. That kick out of bounds First is down. going to cost them. The defense comes out of the nickel. First and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. That pass play picks up a first down. What you saw there was a good job by the wide receiver. Run that curl route and then see the quarterback, watch the ball, then attack it. Good job of getting your hands on there and making the catch. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. That pass was hurried. Moore's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Under pressure and incomplete. It's third down coming up. The formation here, shotgun. Unable to bring it in. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. Moore's a receiver in the slot. Screen play is on. Break screen. Ooh, they failed to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs, it's four down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. That flag gives them a new set of downs. For an open receiver on the right. Into the open now as he crosses the first down marker. The Buccaneers call a timeout and are left now with only one. First down here after the completion. He'll fire it out to the left. Oh, good job by the linebacker knocking that pass down that time. All he did 
was watch the eyes of the quarterback and he reacted. It put him in good position and he knocks the football down. Offense lines up here. Catches made. They bring him to the turf. The Buccaneers will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Over to right. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when your receiver got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. You talk about momentum, that turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Thomas lined up in the backfield. He's looking to the right here on this throw. They bring him down in the middle of the field at the 50. This is a route that's not run enough in the NFL, the corner route. So many times, receivers just go across the field, they go short. But when you make these double moves like that, you get wide open, and what a throw by the quarterback. They've got a first down now after that catch. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. Well, when you play this cover, cover four. In other words, you've got four defenders playing deep, equally spread across the field. Well, who's going to cover the in cuts and underneath? Nobody. That's why the quarterback got an easy completion that time on the in route. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Moore's lined up in the slot. Airing it out. Oh, it almost picked off that time. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Defense time. Breeze in shotgun formation. Down the field. That ball is going the other way. Nifty move past the defender. The first half is over, and we'll be back with our first half analysis in just a moment. Let's check in on the sidelines. Danielle Bellini is there. I had a chance to quickly speak with Coach Ciano during halftime, and this is what he told me. It's kind of a miracle we're still in this game considering how many times we've turned the ball over. Our defense played great in the first half, but we can't keep giving the ball away and putting the burden on them. The offense is going to have to pick it up. Guys, back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Colston's in the slot. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. And he hauls it in. The tackle is made. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field.
grams the receiver all the way to the right side. First and 10, and Sproles gets the football. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Second down, 14. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts him in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Nickel formation here for the defense. Looking to the right side and throwing. That catch, good for a first down. What a nice quarter route run by the wide receiver. He fakes the defensive back out. And look at the quarterback. He knows that little move. When he stuck it, he let him out to the corner. Nice throw, nice catch. That reception gave them the first down. Breeze is going to take it from the shotgun. He has the grab. Saints in for the score. Nothing like it for a quarterback, I'll tell you that. I loved it. Throw a little short pass and just root your guy on and watch him score. Touchdown, pretty exciting stuff. Get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Here we go, here we go. So, touchdown, touchdown, and the two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Offense lines up here. First and 10. Getting away from the pressure. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Ball's loose. When you're behind in the football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs. Good job by the offense. Martin is in the backfield. Staying with the passing game on first down. Very nearly intercepted. I think this is one of the easier throws in the NFL. Don't make the mistake throwing it up the field. Throw it across the field so the receiver can run to it. That time the quarterback leads the receiver way too far on the post route. And here we have second down. He'll throw it over the middle. Jackson's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. First down, following the long play. The defense gets the sack. Pressuring the quarterback, that's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time, the blitz. It was quick, it was fast, and they get a sack on the quarterback. The throw to the left. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Martin is in the backfield. Three, three, three. 
snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun, scanning the field. And they can't connect. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. That ball has been picked off. Bringing the play to an end. First down here. Hand off. Middle. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Drew Brees has it under center. Second and four as they go ground here. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. Thomas lined up in the backfield. First and ten. Back to the ground now on first down. And picks up maybe three or four. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Colston's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and six. Working that left side. It's always dangerous when your receiver's running the drag route and you throw it too far in front of him. You most likely are just going to lead him into trouble. Third down, Breeze in shotgun formation. And it's incomplete, just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Well, it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver, but the defender did it that time. He hit him, that football came loose, incomplete pass. Offense lines up here. Breeze is going to take it from the shotgun. Catch is made. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Well, you get a couple first downs on a drive. It just, of course, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. It loosens up the offensive play caller. And there's nothing like dictating to the defense. I love it. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Play action. Throws to the right. Intercepted. Right, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. First down on the way. Eyeing that left side. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and 
My guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. The defense comes out of the dime, looking for an open receiver on the right. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Jim, that pass ends up incomplete because the defender, he just jarred the football loose with that hit. Nice job. Get that shoulder into the receiver, knock that football out, and get it to the ground. They come Let's out go. in the dime package from the shotgun to Williams. He makes the catch, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Let's see how they back up the big play here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, when you want to spy the quarterback, that's great. You might stop him from running, but look at the open people down the field. Good throw and catch by the quarterback. Looking to the right side and throwing. No one in sight. Has the grab. No time to huddle now. Good job by the receiver. Running into that defense, through the zone, finding the open space and making a nice catch. The Buccaneers are rolling after a huge gainer at the end of quarter number three. a big gainer now it's time to back it up we are back for the start of the fourth quarter touchdown and drawing close if you go to an nfl practice they spend about 40 percent of their time practicing plays going in to score that's why they made it look so easy here nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Challenging the defenders to the right side so they get the touchdown. But they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. Signals, fair catch. Drew Brees has it under center. Now first and ten. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Thomas lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. The second and ten. Breeze gets it to Jimmy Graham. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. They connect on that pass play, but it's still third down. Throws to the right. Going to take it the distance. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20. He's brought to a halt. Jim, what a nice throw by the quarterback. Puts the football right in the hands of the wide receiver. He's behind the defense, but look at the hustle and the speed by the defense. They get the tackle from behind. Long game sets them up here on this play. Drops the pass. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense.
failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Looking for an open touchdown. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. The Saints now will tack on the extra point. Extra point was good. Saints ready here for the kickoff. the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. Offense lines up here. Takes the staff from the shotgun. Jackson's there with the sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read, but these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcells said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. He's looking to the right. That ball is picked off. Fumble. And the defense has it. Most NFL linebackers, their borderline, good enough to be a running back. And they got the hands of defense back. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. Moore is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Launching it deep. He caught it. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. I always love it when all the experts say arm strength is overrated in the NFL. Well, tell me about that after that throw and catch. Thomas lined up in the backfield, looking to go up top again on first down. Touchdown! That's a timeout by the D. It's like money. How much do you need? The answer is more. And that's what you do when you're trying to get points in the NFL. Just get more. Good job by the offense. They padded the lead with that touchdown. The Saints line up for the extra point. Extra point is good. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a Buccaneers official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. And he's met head on right there at the 20. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. To Williams, with two hands, he has it. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. Going for the deep ball. Right down Broadway. Good job of the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven, but the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? Here's the first snap after the big play. Looking to the right side and throwing. Makes, he's in for the score. 
when you're behind in the football game, drive down and score. They did that. Now the next time when they get back out there, they got to do it again. Show some patience and drive it down the field. Picking a bypass, the point after, and try to pick. Kenny Vaccaro reads that one and makes the pick. That hurts. The two-point try is denied. Buccaneers ready to boot things underway. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. in the backfield down the field good job by the defense they are all over the throw by the quarterback they all pick it off in the end zone well that's a big opportunity missed when you drop the pass like that second down following that incompletion catch there no one near him find a way to score that's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone if you punch it in here even though you're down by more than seven it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game this play set up by the long gainer this is a screen play all the way and pick up about four if i'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring i'll tell you what i'm doing i am sending everybody i am going to gamble that it is a run if they have the courage to touchdown that'll close the gap as a nice touchdown there and you chip it away at that lead try to get into the minds of the opponent will they get tight do you hear the word choke yeah i think they could be choking over there on the other side look out well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. And so they convert it here on the two-point try. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. The receiving team has the recovery. First down, Breeze in shotgun formation. Challenging the defenders to the right side, the Saints get a first down. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Trying to work that left side. And that pass is going out of bounds. Incomplete. Quarters formation here for the defense. Throws to the right. He's wide open for the grab. This is where an offensive coordinator's got to be smart. You get in the red zone, you got a big lead. Just worry about the clock. Call very safe plays. After the long game, let's see what they do here. And the give to Pierre Thomas. Touchdown as we near the end of this one. Oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there and it's first to go and you score. Now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets to third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run, nice touchdown. The point after try is in the books.
Saints ready here for the kickoff. Waves his arm and he's going to make a fair catch. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Vincent Jackson on the deep throw. And it's intercepted, which should all but wrap up this game. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. Rolls is shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Looking for an open receiver on the right. A foot race to the end zone. The 20, the 10, in stride, and he's going for the touchdown. What a job by the offense. So little time left. The drive down the field and score, that just ices the game. Nice job by the whole football team today, but especially on the offensive side. The Saints line up now for the point after. The point after is good. Saints ready here for the kickoff. yard line three, 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 three. 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 plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one right on the money good job by the receiver that time getting that extra couple yards gets a first down they are marching let's see how the defense reacts Martin is in the backfield. First and ten. Throwing now to his left. Williams got the cool hands on a pass that had a lot of heat. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to... Interception! That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Sproles is in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He's brought down. Well, the defense in the perfect situation at time. They make the quarterback throw it short, but then nobody makes the tackle. Get in position, wrap your arms around the legs of these receivers, and bring them down. First down here after the completion. Looks to his left. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. You can't play zone coverage against this quarterback. He knows it's zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. They've got a first down now after that catch. The pass down the field by Drew Brees. They've got him down there. This game's come to an end. All right, Phil, before we go, tell me about the atmosphere down in that winning locker room right now. Oh, uh, it's always a wonderful feeling once you win the football game. Just think about it, Jim. It's, it's, it would be like you playing around the golf, and you know it's just you against one other guy.